So today we're going to talk about how to work a phone lead from lot to you. My name is Eddie Green, founder of LotToYou.com. How to work a phone lead. For you guys that are not taking advantage of our BDC and the leads are coming directly to you, I have a couple hints that may help you guys handle the phone lead. We have a phone script which you guys probably already have in hand right now. The key thing about the phone lead is the application and not taking the application too hard. And the reason I say that is that there's a process that the customer has to go through through Lending Tree, and that process requires them to choose a vehicle. So nine times out of 10, the customer is just choosing a vehicle just so they can complete the process. And what I've noticed is a lot of dealers, the first thing they look at is the top line and they go, I don't have that vehicle. Why would I call this customer back? Put on your selling shoes, guys. Talk life to that customer. Find out what are their needs. Do they need an SUV? Do they need a four-door sedan? One of the key things to do when you call the customer is you let them know that you're calling on behalf of Blue Chip Dealer Services and lot to you, that they have a pre-approval and you wanted to talk to them about their pre-approval. That is the key thing that you want to do. And the reason I say that because when the customer goes through Lending Tree, they actually see a pre-qualification through Blue Chip Dealer Services. So when you're calling, you're calling on behalf of Blue Chip Dealer Services and you want to talk to the customer about the application that they did on LendingTree.com. I mean, you guys are all seasoned vets, you know. Nine times out of 10, when a customer comes in on a car, that's not the car that they leave out in. I know myself personally, every time I go to decide what type of vehicle I'm gonna get, I end up getting something totally different. I ran into a salesperson, be a salesperson. One of the things that I've seen at many dealerships is, and I'm gonna just give you a scenario, customer calls in, hey, how much is the price of that 2005 Lexus? And right away they get the price and then you hear click. So guys, you gotta get information before you give information. My thing is, is I'm not giving up any information unless I know who I'm talking to and how I can contact you back just in case we get disconnected. And that's my line. Hey, hang on just a second. I got a bad connection just in case we get disconnected. Let me get your name and number. The easiest way to get the customer's name and number. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to lottoyou.com directly for more information. See you guys next week.